But topping your news today at 4, I-88 is shut down near Rock Falls after a police chase, and police say the suspect is still barricaded in their car. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sharon DeReek. TV6's Chris Carter is at the scene right now, and Chris, this all started with a chase in LeClaire, Iowa. Yeah, Sharon, that is what the Whiteside County Sheriff's told me on the phone earlier this afternoon is that this did start with a chase in LeClaire. I'm going to step out of the way and show you what we are seeing. We are on Prophetstown Road just outside of Rock Falls, about five miles. And in the distance here, you can see a lot of flashing lights on I-88. That is where this situation is unfolding. We do know that there is one male in the vehicle refusing to come out after that chase. We are told that I-88 is shut down from mile marker 36 to 41 in both directions because of the situation. We don't know what started this chase, but we do know, according to the Whiteside County Sheriff's, that this is suspect is wanted on stalking charges out of Iowa. Now, we also know that the Illinois SWAT team, Illinois State Police SWAT team and hostage negotiator has been brought in to try and convince this person to come out of the car. But again, I-88 shut down for several miles. Also, Prophetstown Road, the bridge that goes over I-88 is shut down. So anybody who's traveling in this area is going to find themselves having to having to take a new route, a different route because of this shutdown. We don't know how long the situation is going to continue to unfold, and we don't know for how long the interstate's going to be closed. The Whiteside County Sheriff also has not told us the suspect's name. We are in communication with Sheriff John Booker to get that information and he said that he will continue to text us and call us with updates as we get that and we will be sure to pass that along as soon as we get it. But for now, we are live just outside of Rock Falls. I'm Chris Carter. Back to you. All right, Chris, thank you. Now, of course, this is a developing story. We'll continue to bring you updates both on air and online. Well, after